So, what can we say? I, first off, I don't, I don't want to talk about the Sunderland match that happened this past weekend. It's a crappy match, boring ass match. Played bad and uh, uh, and we lost. I don't care. I don't want to talk much about that. That's why I didn't even make a video. Um, just saw the Man City match. A few changes. Man City made so many changes and we can't even beat that B-string team. Horrible performance again. So boring as well to watch. I don't know about you guys. I just... Maybe I'm just too tired, but... It was so boring to watch. So many long balls as well. And granted, Shola and Mubi was was um, on, so there was like reason to use the long ball, but... Can someone tell me what's happened to Sylvan Mavo? Seriously. I mean, I love the way he plays. I think he can play really well. And he could provide crosses for, you know, big people. Like Shola. I don't know what happened to him. They're just about to announce the draw, I think, for the fifth round, not that. Uh, we'll see, I'll talk about it as I go on. I see you, Man City play. It's gonna be a slow thing, so I'll just talk about the game still. Um, are there positives to take? I don't know, I still find. Um, Oh, Man City face Leicester away. Oh, uh, I read this now. Uh, I'll just see what else comes up. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure you can see the word positives to take. I don't know what the commenter, well, commentators who are talking about some positives to find. Not really. Um, the the only thing, the one thing in my eyes that has made us good in any of the matches that we've played where we've been good is Roy Remy. no one else I mean you could argue that last last Sunday I mean, last yeah, last Sunday against Sunderland he didn't play well well yeah he did and that's why we didn't win and that's why uh, that just shows you how terrible our side is that we lose to the bottom club that played like crap anyway. Granted they made a few diving and they cheated uh was it Darren Fletcher to get the um to get the like foul on the halfway line that they quickly took the free kick and scored from. I mean, it was cheating but you know it is what it is. I don't really care that Sutherland one to be honest with you because like last year, when they won, they stumbled afterwards anyway, so... I can see that happening again, so like a false sense of relief. And then they get relegated, yes! By the way... <laughs> I went not really safe anyway. Uh, but, yeah. We didn't play that well in the Man City match. CC is absolutely horrible. Horrendous play. And not just the uh, missed opportunity to shoot. Well, he had a couple, I think, not just one. Yeah, he had, he had a few. Crappy. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened to. Yeah, really, not much to say. It just wasn't that good a game. Uh, it's only five minutes. Uh, would our problems be solved if we had seen Negredo? Probably, we'd score at least. Uh, in in place of CC, not Shola and Mubi. Shola, Shola played well. I mean, you know what you get with Shola. Shola used to always go offside as well, which always annoyed me. Uh, but I always, I always think that you should play like Shola and Mubi in like a midfield position. You know, that way he can like intercept balls, uh, long balls from the opposition as well. And I think, and he has good feet, and he can keep the ball, man. And, uh... But, oh well. CC, I have no idea what to do with CC. 
we don't have any real strikers that we can bring in, in as well to like compensate. I mean, you used to we had like people like Leon Bess, Peter Lovenkrantz, who we know while not the best of players, and he would never score a goal like um, CC has. CC's goal against Chelsea, the second one, all those years ago, when we beat them 2 0 at Stamford Bridge, that was that's still one of the best goals I've ever seen. And um, in the Premier League, and you, you can't argue that it wasn't on purpose, it was on purpose. Sure, it was hit and hope, but it was on purpose. There was technique there, there was um, intention there. And the fact that it, it was just so inch perfect to get over Peter Crouch. No, not Peter Crouch, Peter Cech, to score was absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. I don't know what happened to it. I seriously don't know. Last year, I mean, it's not something new this year, it's last year as well. And now this weekend we're playing against Chelsea, I think. Uh, which... Which... So I think this next few games, couple of weeks, are going to be horrendous for as a Newcastle fan. Unless Lloyd Kremi performs. The thing is, when Lloyd Kremi has performed, it's been, it's been when he's been like out on the left with someone in the middle, she's in the middle. To be honest, I'd, I'd, I'd wish that um, Pardew would uh, play with Sholemi Obi in the middle and Remy on the side. Um, there, was, there was one thing I would say that Pardew did wrong. I mean, a lot of people don't like Alan Pardew, but I mean, when your striker has quite a number of good chances to score, I mean, it wasn't just that one chance, that one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. You have to remember there's one opportunity in the, in the first half of um, an actual game where he says header hit like a Man City defender, bounced straight to him, and he knocked it, missed the target, and um, it hit MUB and went in. Of MUB, but MUB was offside because he's a dumbass. Uh, nah, I'm just annoyed. Um, it was, the ball was quick as well, so if he was an offside, he probably wouldn't have gotten it. He got a touch. Uh, but CC missed. A golden opportunity he missed. And I'm not even considering the one where he tried to lob the keeper. I'm not even counting that. The thing is, when. when well, no, I thought actually CC had been improving in other aspects. His finishing was still crap, but he had been improving in other aspects. Um, when we were playing with Loic Remy in that formation where he's on Loic Remy's on the left, CC is in centre B. Not in terms of um, yeah, he was improving in terms of his touch of the ball. He wasn't trying to control the ball because he absolutely cannot control the ball. But he would lay it off quickly. He wouldn't oh, try to hog the ball. He would just lay it off quickly, and it would it would move the game faster for us in an attack, and that helped. I thought that helped immensely. But but then Alan Pardew took him off and started to not play and started to put Remy in center. Which uh, I mean, it's fair enough. You know, it's not exactly a gamble. It's fair enough. I can understand the reason behind it. It's just it didn't work. Like Remy down the center hasn't really worked. I'm not sure because I have not really analyzed it properly as to why that might be the case, but I'm not really sure. So I'm not really sure why he's not been able to perform uh, when he's been placed in the middle. Uh, but you know, like I said, I would rather have like for now against Chelsea, Sholemi will be in the middle, and um, uh, Like Remy in the left. Like Remy is our only hope. He is our only hope. Of winning matches. We sucked against Sunderland. We sucked against Man City. And these these Sunderland is absolutely terrible team. And Man City that was a second string. Although I do like um James Milner. I've always liked James Milner. Even when he was at Newcastle, I've always highly rated him. Um But yeah, these are like bad teams. I, I so it's so when we played Leeds United again in this in the um, Capital One Cup, League Cup, I thought we played really well. We played really well in the defense sense. We played really well, ball control. I thought we did really well, 
and then again when we got to we won two nil and I thought you know I mean if you look back at my videos I said bring on Man City but as it is that was probably the wrong thing to say it was not the wrong thing to say it was just I didn't end up that way Man City Man City didn't even play well they didn't even play well they barely got out second again barely. So what are we? And I'm and uh, if people should watch Southampton play. Southampton play really good football. They really got a really good manager uh, that uh, inst instilled that like, passing mentality, belief, self belief. Because Southampton isn't a team that's full of great players, um, expensive players like uh, Man United, Man City, Chelsea, Arsenal. No. They play really good football. They're like a mini Barcelona. I mean, they're not as good as Barcelona, but they try. And you know what? They and they do quite okay. I mean, if you consider who Southampton has lost, have you know dropped points against? They've dropped points against Norwich, where they lost, and they dropped points against Sunderland, where they drew. And uh, they also dropped points against um, Man United, but that was fair enough. But otherwise, they've been doing well. They beat Liverpool. So, I mean, every loss you have should be taken as a, um, like, to build, to rebuild yourself, to, you know, get up off the ground and, you know, understand, learn from your mistakes and improve. But that's not what we've been doing as Newcastle. That's not what we've been doing at all. We still, defensively, we're still on. It's hard to comment on the game because it was 120 minutes. We played on Sunday as opposed. Yeah, we played on Sunday. I mean, Man City played on Sunday as well, but they were half that, half or ten players were different. Uh, we played on. Yeah, we played on Sunday, and so you can expect some people to be tired after 120 hours, 120 minutes. Uh, football. So. I'm not sure what to say. If CC had scored, would things have been different? Yes. But we would have simply beaten a mediocre team. There's no way in hope that we could have performed well against any other good team. So bring on Chelsea. See ya.